G'day, this is just the uh, little soldier's five on how to do the tricky things in the tile set that you see on that um, North Peak map. I'll just uh, just get them fired up. Okay, now the trick is you want to get one of the uh, terrain features that has more than one squares. Um, in, in particular, this, this is the, the tower that we looked at today. Um, now w when you click on it, you notice that it selects both the squares, they become blue. But if you keep your left mouse button held down, it'll only have one square selected. Now, if you hold down your left mouse button, then do Control C and then Control V, you'll be able to post paste the little broken bit of it uh, wherever you want. And if you do that again, and then right click to rotate it around, then you've got yourself a little little bridge like the one you see on that North Peak map. Now the problem with this though is, do you see the little white bits there? Um, they look off into infinity and the the world doesn't really like that so what you want to do is cover those up with some kind of placeable just to stop things from going nuts on the, on the level. Um, yeah, I've, I've just noticed that sometimes that can cause a, a bit of trouble. And you can do all sorts of crazy stuff like that, like if you wanted a tower that has no ramp for some reason you could, I don't know why you'd ever want that, but there you go, you could you could do that. One thing I thought was really cool, um, I'll just, oh, where is it? Uh, it's the 3x3 three three temple, and he made this mad, yeah, here we go, check this out. Alright, so we're going to make a, um, a really crazy wall with this thing. So again, like, okay, if you just click on it once, you see the whole thing is selected in blue. But if you hold your mouse button down, then Control C, and then Control V. Not okay. Let's try Control C and Control V. Okay, yeah. Okay, so sometimes, yeah, sometimes your computer crashes or it doesn't like it. No. Nah. Okay, you gotta be careful and like if you want to do this, just save it when things are good, because I have found that the, the computer can crash, or well, unless maybe a real computer wouldn't crash. Yeah, it doesn't like it. All right. So, but okay, if you just sort of rinse and repeat. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what am I doing? There you go. You can make a sort of groovy wall. Uh, with just chunks of this uh, three by three temple. Um, to to finish it off, what you need to do is get these end bits here. Uh, yeah, I think I think we just crashed it. Um, but look, look, you, you get the idea. It's just really a matter of just holding down the left mouse button and uh, just Control C and Control V and pasting little broken chunks of that multiple square placeable around on the map. Yeah, my computer's crashed. Uh, yeah, and again, I don't know if a real computer would crash like that. Um, or the, the world doesn't like being chopped up and pasted like this, so um, yeah, just be careful with it, especially what you really want to make sure of is that you, you cover up those white bits that look into infinity, because, yeah, it doesn't like that for some reason. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Uh, computers crashed about three times, uh, but I finally got it done. The um, I guess this is that wall I was talking about that you can make out of that three by three temple. Uh, it's got a bit of a gate there, um, but like I said, you, you get these white bits that look off into infinity. So I, I've just look, I've just covered this one up with a big chunk of rubble, but you can you can do whatever you want. Um, and like you can see I've finished it off with these two side bits here, which are the side doors of the temple. Uh, just to give the again the temple, uh, the sorry the wall, um, a bit of a. Well, you don't want to have again that white bit looking off into endless nothingness. So, um, some other cool things you can do. Uh, I'm just playing with these uh, cloak towers. Normally, it's only got one door. Uh, this bad boy's got four doors because you know I guess if if someone can't have enough doors, uh, this one's just got two doors. So uh, you can play with that. These are the dragon skeletons. Um, you can just have the head, or you can have the ribs, you can, or you, you mash up the ribs there in one big rib mess, uh, you do whatever you like. So, you know, there's, there's plenty of things you can do. Uh, over here, there's the, um, uh, if you're sick of the little outhouse on that little field, you can just 
do it so there's no outhouse just by flipping it around. Um, and there's all sorts of fun things you can do and I thought it might be a good way to uh, create levels in RFL that uh, you know people wouldn't have ever seen. Okay, another thing about the North Peak map was that I'd used visual effects for the markets in uh, the town square. Um, one cool thing though is that you can actually put those down in game if you uh, wanted to. I just thought I'd just mention this while I've, I've got you. Um, okay, you've got to create a, a usable object. I'm just going to put down a barrel and uh, you can put the visual effect onto that. So I'm just going to uh, make another um, market, uh, 456, and then you put down how many seconds you want that to be there for. So I'm just going to put one down for 10 seconds and then bonk, and then you've got yourself a, a little marketplace. Um, now you've got to put it in a puddle or something that's a bit lower, otherwise you get this uh, nasty like strobing effect on the floor. Um, uh, I'll put, oh, you can put down anything, but I'm going to put down um, oh, what, a caravan. So that's 439, and then I'm going to put that down for 30 seconds. Um, you know, obviously, you just put it down for 60 seconds per minute you want it to be there, or just spam it with nines if you want it to be there sort of forever. Um, now, you don't have to put that visual effect on a usable object. Um, you can just put it on the ground, but what I've noticed is that if you do that, it uh, makes it like you know, I'll show you, uh, 439, um, it makes it permanent if you put it on the ground. Um, again, there's that horrible like strobing effect of the grass there. Uh, and, and the light doesn't react to it, like you won't get any shading on it, so even in the night time it'll look like it's glowing. Uh, it's kind of rubbish, but um, uh, just a recreation of Peltark Sundial. But I've put the sundial just a, a fraction above the ground so that you don't get that strobing effect. Um, now uh, we could put, uh, here we go, I don't know, 432, um, maybe a little temporary market there in the middle of the, um, of the commons, uh, or we could put down some nicer grass, I'm just trying to find the, uh, I think it's uh, 402, 5, yeah, there you go. So, you know, um, these visual effects are really groovy and uh, even just like while you're logged in as a DM, you can put them down in game just by plunking them on a, a usable object. You can even put them on a door. Um, again, this is probably not the best way to do it, but um, uh, for five, six, uh, forty. There we go. Okay. Again, because the doors level with the ground, you get that strobing effect. So that's probably not the best way to demonstrate it. But but you see see what I mean? That uh, you can do all sorts of crazy fun things with that. Um, you can get these numbers from the uh, visual effect 2DA, um, but uh, again, uh, you, you DMs on enough will probably have um, a wand that does visual effects, so this might not be cool news for you guys, but it's just something that um, yeah, it just gives you a cool little uh, feature with, which, like, with more options in the game.